let's get ready for our 615 boot camp we have probably like just a minute to go so what do you need for today's session is a stretch strap if you do not have it literally use some kind of a rope at home or if you have monster band you can use it and a pair of dumbbells now i will try to work with the same ones however if you have a heavier and lighter you can have them on a the side and then you can switch them in between okay so let's get ready today i am going to show you a series of stretches so we are not going to do a regular stretch like we always do hi ita are you joining me we're going to be doing the series of stretches with our stretch strap i love this tool and i want you to get familiar with it because you can take it anywhere even when you're traveling it's awesome so let's do this we're gonna start in a laying down position on the floor so these stretch straps actually they're available on amazon you can get them i love them they have a new one that is actually very stretchy so what we're gonna do we're gonna put a last loop if you do not have this remember monster bed or any kind of anything in your household that will hold your leg up like this okay so let's keep our other leg bent we're gonna go up and down deep breath in and exhale now flex your toes just like this and just so you know remember facebook this one is just follow along so i am not looking at you you following along with me maybe some of you will be replaying that session later so we're gonna hold squeeze for a few seconds right now bring it hold it hold it first we did that motion and now we're just holding it stretching so you see how my foot is flat it cannot don't point your toes flat like this if you wear high heels you're gonna rotate a little bit you're gonna feel a good stretch now we're gonna bring that leg out to the side keeping still that leg bent shoulders and hips on the floor take a deep breath in and exhale now try to have a support of some kind of a bend here all right this will be easier for you and again we're going up and down a few times now we're going to do it with like extended always be very careful with the stretches don't do i always repeat that don't do ballistic movements don't bounce just take a moment with that stretch i'm holding my hip down good now we're going to switch that arm right arm down on the floor left arm holding that bend and going across take a deep breath in and exhale deep breath in and exhale i'm trying to keep my shoulders my right shoulder on the floor and bring it across now some of you have to bend that leg and it's okay so you can do this with bent knee as well now we're gonna bring that leg in so look i'm just bringing the whole leg in to stretch the glute and extend that leg bring it all the way in and extend and let's do it one more time and extend now we're gonna go sideways sideways what i want you to do is to keep that bottom leg bent now you're gonna bring that bend behind you see how i'm pushing my hips forward just to stretch that quad and you're gonna kick it forward okay so it's a quad hip flexor stretch now make sure that the loop is around your foot because if it's gonna go somewhere else you're not gonna feel that stretch you want that look to be around your foot so you feel that stretch you can kick it forward stretch it behind it and i always do them i it became such a really a habit of mine i do it all the time before session starts even the sessions when i take with other coaches let's switch our legs this is just a simple one okay we're going up and down it's all about that 90 degree angle tapping that leg now when you bring your toes down here you're gonna feel it this stretch running all the way from the back of your leg now for those of you who either sit a lot or run around a lot that would be awesome we did a seven mile hike yesterday and it's totally got my leg the whole posterior side is tight so hamstring tightness is not going to help you with flexibility so it's not going to also help you to develop that glute strength so you want to make sure that you're going to have this tight this part stretched out okay 
So let's hold for a few seconds. Let that feel good. Awesome, this feels great. Now we're gonna bring that leg out slowly. Don't let it just bounce. Open up that adductors here, hips facing the ceiling, and bring it back up. So if you feel comfortable right from the beginning, extend that leg, that's good. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Out, that's when you feel that stretch. That's when you feel your hip. I feel my hip too, because that's my left hip. That's the hip that I feel it. That's the hip that had a lot of troubles in the past. So that's but I managed to work with it. And again, now we're gonna bring it across. Bring your shoulder on the side. Try to bring that shoulder as flat as possible. So you get that good rotation going here, right? Bring it across, down, down. And again, deep breath in and exhale. Awesome, and again, deep breath in and exhale. Nice. I, felt, I hope that you felt this. Now you know how to do it, right? You're gonna go sideways. Bottom leg is bent. You're gonna bring this over your shoulder and I kick it forward, okay? And again, bring it behind you and kick it forward. So for those of you who don't have this, make sure to purchase it on Amazon. It's a great tool, guys. You can literally go hiking, you can go biking, and you can have this with you because this does not take a lot of space, but yeah, it's so good and useful. And you should be using different stretches for this. Now we're gonna look, we're gonna use this one. We're gonna take, so if you're just working with monster back for now, that's fine, you're gonna grab that bend. We're gonna extend your arms and look. We're gonna bring the arms in front and I'm gonna bring the arms behind all the way. Now see if you can bring those arms behind. This is a good flexibility of the shoulder when you actually can bring your arms behind. Now let me tell you, here it's 100 degrees. I don't know how it's in New York today. I didn't check the weather. I know it was raining, I think, the other day. But let me tell you, it feels here like I had a heater turned on. <laughs> That's how it feels, like somebody's blowing the heat here. All right. Now bring your arms up. Feet are wider than your shoulder width. We're gonna bring the arms up and look. We're gonna go down and up. Now with this exercise, if you are not advanced, if you're a beginner, what I want you to do, bring your all right, arm, one arm up and one arm down. Now this arm is reaching down towards the knee. This one is coming across. Don't use the bend again, okay? And then bring it back up. And now switch your arms. Right arm, left arm up. Take a deep breath in and exhale. You rolling your arm along the side. That's the trick, look. Squeeze it, roll it down and reach. And bring it down. And again, it feels so good. Now think about it. We do flexions, we go bend over this way. But when we really go, stretch that way. Never. So that's why it's so important to do these stretches. And again, one more time. Remember, good stretch before the session you should never happen to high intensity or any kind of workout without stretching. So, we're gonna bring your feet wide, we're gonna take a deep breath in, and exhale, bring that bend behind you, slightly. And again, now bring the bend behind you. Look, now down, and up. Bring the bend behind you. Now again, if this is uncomfortable, you can only bring your arms up and down, that's fine. Eventually you will be able to hopefully, because you should be able to, that rotation should happen with that joint. That's the joint that can rotate like this. So take advantage of it. It's different when some joints cannot rotate like this, all right? We will have a, a rotation with a joint that shouldn't do that. All right, now let's go alternating toe touches be some without the bend, just coming across, standing up straight, pushing your hips forward, coming across. Now with this stretch, you're going across behind that arm that it's up, okay? And again, look behind that arm as it's up. One more time. Deep breath in. Exhale on both sides. And exhale. So the hips should feel it. 
Now hold that position standing for a second or two, just stretching the, the quads for a second. Now legs standing, legs should be slightly bent. Hips together, you can hold the balance, work on it. That's something that you should be working on. All right, so this is how it's gonna go. We're gonna have four exercises. I have the timer set up then, and then we're gonna switch to two minutes, and I'm gonna tell you how we're gonna switch it. So just kind, kind of learn the exercises, go along with me. We're gonna start with two dumbbells, squat thrust, and walk. You're gonna be pulling the squat thrust. So let's do this, because we gotta just go for it. And let's go. So we're going two dumbbell squats. So squat down, walk your feet, walk them back in, stand up straight. We're gonna alternate your legs. Again, low squat, back is straight. Take one leg at a time. Now, if you have one dumbbell, you're gonna be doing exactly the same with one dumbbell. If you do not have the dumbbells, you're going to do this without the dumbbells, okay? Just body weight, walking, Nice big step, stepping up and stepping down. I don't hear my, I have to listen to this. Now we're gonna go grab the dumbbells right here. So dumbbells above your shoulders. If you have a one dumbbell, you're working with one dumbbell. If you are beginning, you're working without the dumbbells, just practicing the squat. How you squat? You're dropping your hips, keeping your knees in line with your ankles. So think that you have an invisible chair behind you. Inhale and exhale. Legs should be shoulder width apart. And I have 15 pounds in each arm. We're going into overhead press, regular, so we're gonna go 90 degree angle. Keep your knees slightly bent. And let's do this. Both arms. So deep breath in and exhale. And again, deep breath in and exhale. You see how I'm stopping at 90 degree angle? Yes, stop at 90 degree angle. Don't go anywhere, don't go below. Make sure that you get this one. Yes, and again, let me know if you see me well. I see myself fully, but I just wanna make sure that you see me well. Good, now we're gonna hold dumbbells up with reverse lunge. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go one dumbbell, especially if you are new to this, make sure that you are holding a light dumbbell or just keep your arms up, okay? Don't do dumbbells yet because this is a lot of on your lower back. So you're gonna be stepping one leg at a time, 90 degree angle, breathe out here, inhale, nose, exhale, lips, you're gonna get you a little time to get into the rhythm. Keep your arms up, one leg at a time. If you hear that sound, that's that sound. All right, now, listen up. I'm gonna fix that a little bit. Now listen up. This is when we're gonna put two minutes on the clock, so get ready. Then you're gonna know how we're gonna do this, okay? So we started with, with me, this, this is a little different. You gotta follow along. Let's do squat thrust, then the front squat. Squat thrust. Right from here, let those dumbbells. Front squat. Overhead press. It's just a single rep out of single exercise, right? Now with here, I'm just gonna hold two dumbbells, go into reverse lunge, reverse lunge. And again, right into squat thrust. Walking squat thrust, not jumping. Right into a front squat, front squat. Right into an overhead press. Full and bring those dumbbells up and reverse lunge. Yes, deep breath in and exhale. And again, squat press, you keep on going. I'm gonna have that time right in front of me so I'm not gonna miss it. So you're going high plank, walking squat press. Remember, if you're new to these exercises, please, just do a body weight, or very light dumbbells, okay? Overhead press, you can even hold it here, reverse lunge, deep breath in, and exhale. Yes, and again, squat thrust, walking squat thrust, taking your time, switching your legs, 
Lift those dumbbells with your legs. Lower back. Rotate. Reverse lunge. Reverse lunge. We still have it. And again, squat down. Walk. Walk. Walk in. Stand up straight. Front squat. 90. Press. Rotate. Reverse. Ha. Reverse. Ha. And time. This was good. I think we're going to push a little farther and do three minutes. Now we're going to go to repeat this one more time. You ready? Let's do this before we're going to go to the next row. So 30 seconds on the clock. Squat thrust. Let's do this. 30 second squat thrust. There is no push up, but if you really want to push into that push up, that's fine. Just the squat thrust. 30 seconds. We are working, lifting, squeezing, dropping, high plank, outside, inside. Watch that lower back, especially here. All right, this should not be lifting anything heavy if you are a beginner. 10 seconds is for you to drop those dumbbells, stretch, loosen up, get ready. Remember, you can't go 60 minutes without non stop. You need to have some kind of a reset or a break if you want to go with good quality. And we are quality over quantity. So you see, I'm breathing heavy. I'm not resting my dumbbells at my shoulders. I'm holding them here. So right now I'm gonna be doing overhead presses. I dropped them down for a second, taking a deep breath in, especially the conditions here are hard. It's humid, it's hot. I need to take my time. Knees bent. Knees bent to protect that lower back. I want you to engage your arms. Yes. It's different combination and compound exercises compared to like if you would just do single maybe overhead press. You're gonna realize that you're gonna be using different weights with different exercises yeah, and you do combination of them, all right? Hold, reverse, lunge. So, dumbbells up. Deep breath in, and exhale. And again, take your time. Keep those arms straight, close towards your head. My body is wobbling. Of course, it's tight, it's hard. It's gonna be challenging. Watch that lower back. Squeeze your abs. Ha. Time. Get ready. Because we are going into two, three, four minutes. Mm-hmm. Yes. So one rep each. Go. Squat thrust. Now you know it. Squat thrust walk. Front squat. Ha. Front squat, ha, overhead press, rotation, reverse lunge, ha, reverse lunge. 10 minutes into the workout and we are sweating. You see how I'm folding those dumbbells. I'm taking my time. Left, front squat, deep breath in and exhale. Right here, press, rotate, reverse, Reverse. That back leg should not be touching the floor. You saw me doing it. Just land slowly down, but don't touch it. Squat. Walk. Walk. Walk back in. Left. Front squat. Ha. Rotate 90. Pay attention. You see, we're going slow. Wow, I forgot. We're not going fast. Take your time. Right here. Release slowly and again, feet are wide. Squat, alternate those legs right leg, left, right, left, lift, 
bring your dumbbells up, squat, lat right here, rotate, press, rotate, reverse, reverse. I'm sometimes starting with my right, sometimes with my left. Down, and again, feet are wide, back is straight, squat, walk, left, right, left, right, deep squat, lift, momentum, squat, rotate, 90, press, rotate, hold, reverse, right, deep breath in, left, slowly release it down, control, feet are wide, down, right, left, walk, walk, back is straight, power with your hips, front squat, dumbbells away from the shoulders, 90, rotate, hold it tight, look the conditioning, the strength, it's all coming to place, one by one, when you continue, so the whole goal is to continue, never give up, exercise is part of your life, it shouldn't be something that should go on and off. The button stays on. Otherwise, you're gonna lose it, gain the weight. You're not gonna like that. Ha, ha, ha. Take a second. You see dripping sweat. That's the whole goal. So, even if somebody is injured, there's always a way to work out. There's always a way to modify. Remember this. I had injured hip for five months. I did not do a lower body, but I did my upper body nonstop. Never gain a pound. Your upper body can burn the fat too. Remember that. All right, let's do it. New exercise. Dumbbell crawl up. So let's get ready. We're doing those dumbbell crawl ups. Nothing by practice and going with me. That's it. Squat down, feet are widening your shoulder. You're walking those dumbbells out. If you are new to it, you're not doing that crawl up with the dumbbells. You're crawling your hands, standing up straight. What you can do, face those dumbbells up. Crawl your hands out to high plank position. Crawl them back in. All the way here, you're gonna grab a light pair of dumbbells. But if you advance, you're crawling them with me, all right? Feet don't move, ha, huh? just the arms. All right, high plank renegade row. You're gonna be staying in a high plank position right here. So your feet should be shoulder width apart. We're gonna alternate, back look. Row, right, row left. Now look, spider, spider, step back. Row left, row right. Then right, left. So alternate those sides here. Try not to rotate your hips. Jump, jump. If you can't jump, look, stepping. That's it. Just stepping here. That's fine. This is sweat is like pouring. This is crazy. Sumo squat. Both dumbbells. You can't do both, you're gonna do one. Other than that, grab those hands right here. So, we're gonna go low. So, toes should be pointed out, wider, all right? So, the center of the gravity right here is pulling those dumbbells down. Deep breath in and exhale. Shoulders are back, chest is out. Don't lean forward, that's the challenge, because you have the dumbbells here. And again, you knew, do body weight. Maybe if you have a lot of weight to lose, don't worry, you carry the weight. Bicep curl, my friends. Bicep curl, shoulders back, chest is out, look. Just down and up. So keep on going. Knees are bent, shoulders back, always. When I teach you, it's always shoulders back, chest is up. That's how you start every single exercise. So always keep that voice in your head. Shoulders back, chest is out. Stick that chest out, squeeze your bicep. Yes, take your time. I want these palms this way, not the other way. Yes, and look, you know what's, what's coming, right? Two minutes, let's do it. Single rep, 
Go. Crawl up. I'm keeping that handy. So feet are wider. Crawl your hands up. Let's do this together. If you remember these exercises, just do them separately. No problem. But look, I came right here. You gotta jump out or walk out. Row. Row. Spider. Spider. What's after? Sumo squat. Jump or walk. We're gonna do a full sumo squat right here. Right here, bicep curl. Now again, crawl up. So feet are wide. Wider than your shoulder width. Crawl up. Let's do this. Crawl up. Boom. Crawl back in. Right from here. You gotta jump, right? Because you gotta do that row. 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 Spider, spider. Boom, boom. What's after? Jump. Sumo squat. One. Right here. Feet closer. Bicep curl. Let's do it. Crawl up. Feet wide. Oh yeah, we're crawling up. You remember now how I taught you crawl up, right? So now you know where you're supposed to be on a crawl up. With the dumbbells, all the way up. Take your time. You see, I can walk right here. Back is straight. Squeeze your glutes, point your toes out. Squat low, boom. Finish with that bicep. We still have time. Don't you give up on me. We're going, crawl up. We're not dropping those weights. Right here, that's the challenge. Ha. Yes, roll. Yes, roll. Spider, spider. Jump. Yes, that sumo. Low and bicep curl. Let's do one more because we gotta do two full minutes. Nice. All right. So you see, I'm not quitting before. We gotta do this. Stay hydrated, please. I'm staying hydrated. Tomorrow, we are going to release something cool. So stay tuned for the videos coming up about truly nutrition. And you need to learn about the products as well because they will help you. We're going. We're going back to the crawl up. 30 seconds, get ready. 30 seconds crawl up. Ha! Let's do this. Boom, 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 boom. Now, what I talk always supplements, guys. So many of you been here for a while. A lot of you will use a supplement, but a lot of you will not. If you have no medical conditions, you feel okay, you can always consult your physician. Try the supplements. Natural supplements are the way to go. But think about, think about it how much I sweat. Think about how much you sweat. What happens when you sweat? You're gonna lose these very important parts and hydration. Where are we? We are in a high plank roll that will help your muscle contraction. Hydration. So potassium, magnesium, calcium, zinc. This stuff, you're gonna sweat. And don't forget that spider. So when you're gonna start sweating and you're not gonna replenish, what's gonna happen? You're gonna get cramps. You're gonna get a bad recovery. You're gonna feel tired and lethargic. So if you're sweating a lot in the summertime, we all should be using some kind of a hydration. All right? Water is not enough. Ha! Huh. Amino acids. Building blocks of your muscle. Remember that. Deep breath in and exhale. Try to keep those toes up. Now, the dumbbells stay close. So, I am not, I am not doing this. I'm going straight down. All right? Straight down. Straight down. Gonna drop them down for a second. We're gonna go into bicep curl. 30 seconds, 30 seconds of a break on the 30 seconds. I have a creep coming. There are creeps around here. Do you have creepers coming to you when you work out? They creep up. They ask what's going on here. Then you're gonna do something like, yeah! Oh, too. creep. <laughs> And bold too. <laughs> Breathe out. <sighs> the 
creep almost struck at me. That <sighs> creep. Get out of here, creep. All right, three minutes. Huh. Are you sweating? Laura is here. I see Paula and Ita. Girls, boys later, they're gonna join. Three minutes, let's do it. On the clock, you're doing a crawl out. Yes, we're not lazy, we're hard working. Let's do this crawl out. The sweat is dripping. Remember what I told you about these supplements. You wanna be strong. You wanna have a tight muscle. That tightness, sometimes it's not coming from you not lifting, it's coming from your body missing the parts, important parts in the chain. And then your skin is loose. Ha! Huh. We don't want that. Oh yeah. Use these crawl outs dumbbells right here. Whoo! Row, row. Remember. And the spider, spider. Jump, jump. Or walk, walk. The lift on that sumo squat. Oh, we're gonna love that one here. You better take a sweaty picture after and post it on Facebook. Show the world how much you worked out. Because eh, the world gets lazier and lazier. It's crazy. Instead of harder, it goes the opposite direction. Did the earth cell spinning the other direction? Sorry, when I work out my brain, it just goes into different space, I guess. Let's go. <sighs> Sweaty dumbbells. Jesus. I swear to God, I did not make this fake. This sweat is just dripping. I have absolutely no control over it. This is chaos here. <sighs> so you know the order, keep on going. Because we have a three minutes to go. <sighs> Let's blast this through. If your hands got sweaty like mine, just wipe them. Coming right back up. 
You shouldn't be absolutely resting and waiting on the floor. Inhale is here, exhale is up here. All right, so now we're gonna go into a bridge. Bridge up and down. So, yes, I think I'm gonna use one dumbbell right here on my quads, let's do it. So bridging up, going down. Lift up and down. Now do not rest your hips. You're coming an inch above the floor. Inhale and exhale. Now, if you're new to the exercise, try body weight. That's it. Body weight, my friends. That's it. If you remember, if you need to lose a lot of weight, you had a break for a few months, or you're just starting an exercise program, just your own body weight. Take your time. Build it up slowly. Okay. We're going to go dumbbell hold, and we're going to do a bridge. Look. Hold. And a bridge. Now from here, you're gonna extend one leg at a time. So don't go up here, don't go kick the air. Right here. Engage, right here. So dumbbells are up. Now, some of you won't be able to do that. So you're just gonna hold that bridge for me, okay? Deal? There you go. Squeeze. Now, just the moment that you're lifting that one leg, you're activating so much of your hammies, hamstrings, the back of your legs. Good? Now we're gonna do alternating presses, flutter kicks. So look, for those of you who are new, you're gonna do right arm, left leg, just like this. Look, lift one leg at a time, lift opposite dumbbell at a time. Ready? For those of us who have done this for a long time, you're gonna go right here, point those toes, squeeze your arms, squeeze your abs. Do not lift your head here. You have a dumbbell flat on the floor. Ha. Awesome. Amazing. Let's do this. Two minutes on the clock. We're starting again. Three, two, one. Single rep out of each. So you can wait for me. All right. Let's do it together so you remember. So, it's a close grip press. Bring those dumbbells down. Bridge. Dumbbells are up. Hold. Bridge, alternating legs. Right here. And flutter kicks. So you can lower those dumbbells for four. One, two, three, four. Bring them down. Close grip press. Dumbbells down for that bridge. On your quads. Lift up. Go down. Bring it up. Hold the bridge. Alternating kicks with pointing those toes. And flat kicks. One, two, three, four. And again. Close grip. Press. Bridge up. Dumbbells on top of the quads. Take your time. Listen. This is not a speed. This is taking your time. Here, bridge, alternating leg lifts. Squeeze those dumbbells, squeeze them. Flat kicks for four. One, two, three, four. Remember this. Can't do flat kicks, you're lifting one leg at a time. Dumbbells down, you know what to do. Ha. That hold is very important with those dumbbells. Watch them, watch them. Ha. Ha. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. You keep going. I'm going to check that time. All we have is still a time. Keep on going. Ha. Close grip. Bridge. Hold it. Are you going ahead? Then you go ahead. Then you're doing it on your own and it's fine. And time. Awesome. Dumbbells to the side. Going back to 30, 30 seconds. Get ready. I didn't want to 
want to go through it. Better reset that clock. Now it's good. All right. Let's do this. Close rib press. This is not normal, guys. I don't know if uh, this is sweating. This is like something out of. I don't think that I experienced this ever. I mean, I've been sweating, but this is something beyond. This is like somebody's pouring on me. <laughs> this, this water. All right, let's do it. Close grip. Press it, press it. You could easily even switch and do individual really heavy ones. Right here. One, two. I'm using 20 pounds in each arm. But I did a heavy chest press today, so this is all good. Still a challenge. Now remember, we're gonna go into the bridge, right? So we can do one dumbbell or two. Just wash those hands. We're gonna go up and down, bridging up, right here. Squeeze. Remember, tap it or right hover above the ground. You gotta squeeze those glutes. Don't go just like up and down fast, no. Hamstrings, glutes pulling in. Core is tight, core is engaged, belly button. Pull in towards the spine. Yes. Breathing. Inhale. Exhale. Getting those dumbbells. Now remember, we gotta hold. We gotta hold and we gotta do these bridge hold and extensions right here. So we're gonna be extending that leg. Take your time. Don't drop those hips though. You're gonna be wanting to drop it those hips. Don't drop them. Hips have to remain up there. But here's the thing. If you are new to it, just hold that bridge with both legs because then you're going into a unilateral movement, which is single, and then it becomes next level of the exercise, okay? We are very good in progressions here. So that's why I'm uh, really underlining this, that you need to have and you need to know your options. Okay, let's do this. Flutter kicks, presses. You gotta have the legs extended. So go slow, but go better, okay? Do slower today for me, but do better. Do quality over quantity today. Today is not a fast motion. It's slow, it's precise, it's awesome, it's good, it's strong, it's better.
Yes, your arms should be feeling it. That moment of the rest is when you put those dumbbells up on your bridge, right? Yes. Keep on going. You're not stopping, you're going. I gotta take it in. Oh, we have a minute. Yes, strong, look. Your body wants to give up. Get that energy again. Get that deep breath in again. Say, I will do it, no problem, because you will. We are capable of doing more than ever. And more you do it, less it feels. Really, I'm telling you, you can do so much more. And you're gonna be surprised that you did that. And we're going to the next group. How are we feeling? Thumbs up, thumbs down. Yeah, so good on time. Dumbbell clean. So now, dumbbell clean, we're gonna use this dumbbell. So really, with dumbbell clean, you need to get that motion going. So if you have a lighter pair, do it. I'm going to show you first before we start. So think about zipping a coat. Zipping a coat. Zip. We did this with kettlebells. Zipping. Elbow is leading. So clean would look like this. You can also go this way. With elbow leading. Okay? So you got to get that momentum going through, traveling through those hips. That's what it is. And you can do a little dip. So, right here, okay, I switch to my 12 right now, just saving those shoulders and we are starting. So again, play around with those numbers for yourself. I told you that this is, doesn't need to be always the same, right? Yes. Some people like to do them that way. I don't. Twisting the arms, it's fine. Leading. Nice, up and down, right here. Side lunge. So we're going sideways. Now dumbbells will be at your shoulders because right here, we're gonna go sideways. So look, side, center side. Now, if you're new to this, again, do it without the dumbbells. You're landing on one bent leg and the center leg, center leg, stay straight. We have a center leg. No, we don't. But I call it because it stays in the center, right? So drop. Now, lower you go here, harder it is because it's almost like a single leg squat. That requires a lot of energy. Now, drop lunge bicep curl. So we're gonna go drop across and do a bicep curl with the hammer grip. So drop across, knees bend. Now elbow stays to the side. Don't rock your body to lift those dumbbells, okay? The top of the dumbbells come to the top of your shoulders. Now the whole idea is to go across. It's a, it's a curtsy squat. So it's, look, but if your knee's feeling it, you have a TRX, don't do it with TRX. All right, overhead press. Let's get ready for this one because military presses always get us. 
Let's squat. Now we're gonna pop those arms alternating right here. So my elbow is going down along this side. So look, one dumbbell is up, one is down. So here, I'm working right in here with this range of motion. Perfect. Just right here. Abs are tight, glutes are tight. Knees are slightly bent to protect that lower back. Yes. Two minutes on the clock. Single rep. Let's do this. Ready? Three, two, one. Together. Oh, you didn't go. Now it's going. Awesome. Let's do this. Dumbbell clean. So, right here. Now, side lunge. Doesn't matter. Right and left. Yes. Then what? What's next? Drop lunge. Hammer curl. Drop. Hammer curl. Then after what? You remember? Military press. One, two, three, four, like with the flutter case. And again. Boom. Side lunge. Maybe we can start with left. Go low. Yes. Then go drop and curl. You can do both arms to one arm at a time. Maybe the same leg, the same arm. Good. Right from here. One, two, three, four. Unfold. Bring it down. Again. Do it with me or go ahead of me. Side to side. Now feet, when you're dropping, should be in line. Okay? That's very important. Across, save that knee. This one is a little different than just squatting or lunging. One, two, three, and four. Yes, the arms feeling it, don't they? Right here. Now in line, toe to toe. Go low. Yes, feels good. This is good part when you're actually extending those arms on that curtsy so you can have a rest here I wonder where you're feeling it see how I'm bringing my legs together and again everybody's different some people will go low some people oh I forgot my bicep I'm talking to you let's finish Whew. One, two, three, four. Two minutes was a little over. It's okay. Look, but you felt it already. So now, how are you feeling? Do you need adjustment with that weight? See, it's different when you went for 30 seconds versus two minutes, even though it's single rep. Those are the things that you need to pay attention, how your body responds. Maybe you need to switch that weight for a little lighter, maybe a little heavier. All right, we're going back to the 30 seconds. Let's do it. So 30 seconds might be heavier. Let's do it. Start now. Look that clean. Nice power. It's almost like a swing. Yes, engage that bicep. Engage those legs. They should feel good. Breathe out. Straight ahead. Drop them down for a second. You feel tightness in your hips, you're stretching. Those 10 seconds are for you to stay loose. Dumbbells close towards your shoulders. You're doing a side lunge, alternating legs, okay? Now don't rest those dumbbells on your shoulders, okay? Don't rest them. And just re remember, this is a Facebook Live. You guys can replay this anytime right here. If you are a member, you can do this on the portal at any time and then choose the workouts that you want. You don't want this one, you don't want dumbbells, you can do body weight, you can do bicycle, you can do whatever you want. Drop lunge. What I what you should remember.
remember now. I wonder what is going through your head right now. What voices are you hearing? Are you hearing my voice telling you? Shoulders back, chest out. Look straight ahead. Brace your abs. Stay tall for the spine. Elongate, all right? You gotta stay tall. Not slouching, not rounding. Tall, confident, peak freak. You are a freak. That's who you are if you're here. Overhead. Because normal people don't do that, all right? Then we are not normal, so this is okay. Military presses. Who is watching me? If you're watching that exercising, I'm coming to your house. Press, press, press. You better give me some thumbs up or I'm gonna drop it here. Huh. Damn it. It's hard, don't stay up loud, we curse here. Ugh, we struggle. Uh, yes. That's the part of life. <laughs> John. Hello. Uh, Josie. Okay. Three minutes. I'm nice to you, all right? I'm nice to myself. Three minutes on the clock. Single rep. Doing, doing 12 guys. I already know that 15 is not going to work. So even if the legs would take it, the shoulders will. And save your shoulders, please. Three, two, one, go. You know what to do. Clean, boom, lateral, side lunge. Anything side is lateral. Right here, drop lunge, bicep curl, which is really hammer curl, hammer grip, parallel grip, boom, military press, one, two, three, four. That's what got me last time, those presses. Pay attention to what's getting you. And what benefits are you getting from that workout today? What benefits in general? Remember, thank you, Yossi, for making that video. Tara did that video. You all eat. I didn't check who else yet, but you will have a chance to do it after here. Remember, today is the 21 day challenge. Started today, so you all should be doing it because the winner will get supplements. Awesome supplements. Yes, supplements that will help you with hydration, with weight loss. So don't miss on that. You should be participating with anything right now because it's not that much going on. So let's just do it. I'm expecting all of you on that page right now, besides these people that I listed to do the video. Video can be 10, 15 seconds long. It doesn't matter. One benefit per day for 21 days. Leaving and saying goodbye to the summer, exactly 21 days before the summer. Look at that. One, two, three, four. I am dying. And I'm sorry, but the clock didn't go off, so we gotta start from the beginning. Oh, you hate me right now. And this wasn't done purposely, I promise you. I promise you that it didn't. No, it didn't. It's too late. Happening to go. Ha! Keep on going. Ha! Yes. I used to do this in the class. Oh, I'm sorry the class didn't go. Oh, we gotta go. We gotta repeat that again. Ooh, that's so bad. You guys have to repeat this. You guys remember the good times. Ha! Boom! Right here. Well, you know what? I'm not gonna look at that clock. I'm gonna stay here to decide that we're gonna move on. And you have to do that too. And at home, if you're replaying the video, don't you dare leaving. You know what? Because the thought of you quitting is gonna hunt you down. It's always 
It's always does, right? When you like give up on yourself or you do something you're not supposed to. Oh yeah. Because we know better when you're supposed to do these things. We know what's good, what's not. One more time together, ready? This should feel awesome right now. just finish a full hour how are you feeling great job now now my friends now what you can do right after see I'm sweating I hope that you're dripping sweat too you can do the same stretch that we did just holding the stretches for like 30 seconds long hamstrings your inner thigh your outer your lower back hold for 30 seconds all right, stretch out, stretch out at home with the stretch strap. Now, I wanna thank you for those of you who obviously did the video today, thank you for the 21 day, for sending referrals and I'm asking all of you who are here right now who watched that video, who replayed this video on the portal later, please do send the Send the link to your friends and family for the free week, 21 days, because we're going strong with this. We need more people to coming on board. So what I'm gonna do right now, I am going to post this 21 day and virtual free week at Peak Online right here. So you can just copy and paste it. Yes, and now I'm gonna post the 21 days. So please just, just take the 21 days copy send it to your friends invite them over we're gonna take over we're gonna talk to them we're gonna help them to get on board and of course make sure you're checking in to the page make sure that you are eating right make sure that you're posting your meals and even though you think oh you know what i some of you might think that you've gotten so good with your meals and everything else that you've lost your weight it's all good but the whole point about posting those meals is to also help others because you might have an awesome idea of what to eat later or you created a recipe so it's all about sharing with others and keeping the page really life stephanie yes awesome thank you i i'm glad that you worked out with us i didn't see you before this is great so stephanie's been posting their meals i know that east has been so get right on it don't think that was just the challenge and now it's done you came to this workout, you came to this gym to go to the next level. So what's your next level? What is the next level for you? There's always something next level, right? So let's work on this. Let's work on the, on the, uh, love the stretching, great workout. Thanks coach. Oh, my pleasure. You're welcome. Uh, thank you, Paula. So make sure that you're posting your meals. Keep on posting. Keep on asking questions. That page is for you. We, we are live all the time here. So we want to see your posts and we want to see your interaction and your questions. And that's how you want to learn, right? So with this said, thank you so much. Again, do some stretching and I will see you tomorrow for boxing. No excuses.